News 3 follow up now. Chatham County Commissioners delivering on promises made to those living in island communities who have been asking for more fire protection for quite some time. WSAB's Kaylee Fedko visited Burnside Island today and spoke to a resident and a commissioner about the impending project. For the thousands of people living in these beautiful homes and island communities in Chatham County, although they're surrounded by tons of water, there isn't a lot of protection against fires, including hydrants. It's something the islanders say they've wanted for a while, and now it looks like they may be getting their wish. This as the Chatham County Board of Commissioners approved $1.8 million as part of the American Rescue Plan for fire protection in the Burnside Island, Sandfly, Isle of Hope, and Ogeechee Farms communities. Elizabeth Harris lives on Burnside Island and says she doesn't live anywhere near a fire hydrant. I've had to witness a fire and knowing that there are no fire hydrants, it was terrifying. Harris says she witnessed her neighbor's house catch fire last year and watched them put it out with pool water due to the lack of equipment in the area. There was a huge time lapse there, enough that the fire really it escaped and went over to the neighbor's yard. Okay, so I had to go and find out what equipment do we have to protect us as islanders from a fire. After that, she says she's been lobbying county commissioners for more protection and resources. I have been on it ever since, but it's just we have to have these measures. Chatham County District 1 Commissioner Helen Stone has been instrumental in helping islanders get the safety resources they've been asking for. She tells me in a statement, quote, we're trying to make sure there are enough fire hydrants across the county, but it's going to be a process. Harris says although this is a step in the right direction, the county needs to be doing more for the islanders, such as guaranteeing modern equipment like tankers, which she said would have helped put out the fire she witnessed. One tanker will not be enough. That was the problem across the creek. It was having to go back and forth to get water to extinguish this fire. It was brutal. It was fierce. It was terrifying. And as for the impending hydrants, there are questions that she and her neighbors say they want answered. My question is going to be, what's the length in which these things can be ran? And are they really, uh, for the immediate area, yes, a dry hydrant would be probable. That's a, that's a good concept. Mm -hmm. But what about the people that, am I too far down the road? There's no timeline yet on the next steps to install any hydrants, but Islanders can rest assured in knowing that progress is being made. Reporting on Burnside Island, Kaylee Fedco, WSAB News 3 on your side.